Welcome and welcome to the new H filtration webinar. Uh, thank you again for, part for participating and I'm sure that you already participated in other webinars, but now today we are focusing on the uh, maintenance of the clean meat. Okay, so first of all, before uh, starting our, our webinar and our presentation, I would like just to tell you a small a little rule to follow. Uh, now we will mute everybody's microphone. So when you have to ask a question, just use your chat that you find below. You just type and write down the question that you want to ask. And then one of, our, one of us, uh, in this case, my colleague Martina, will uh, say out loud the, the question and I will be, I will be reply. So uh, let's, get, let's get started now. As I was saying, we, talk, we will talk about the maintenance of the clean mist. Now, uh, you, everybody of you knows the clean mist. Uh, as I said, as I guess, most of you have participated with the presentation where we have focused on the clean mist itself, on the application and on all the things related to the clean mist. Now, I just give a little, a little summary just to sum up uh, what the clean mist is, and then later we will dip inside the maintenance, the maintenance, the maintenance stuff. Now here you see our clean mist. This is our bigger version, the CM2300. This is a typical installation. You see it is mounted on that support. You have the flexible PVC uh, to do the suction with a wide junction and obviously the drainage for, for the oil. Uh, this, is, this is the centrifugal filter. This is the filter that we use uh, when we have oil mist in machine tools basically and we use this kind of filter, one filter for each machine. So uh, this is basically what the clean mist is. You know that there are, of course, uh, many applications, many kind of installation, and as well, many um, accessories. We will discuss also a little bit about this accessory, also related to the maintenance, from the maintenance point of view, because they can help you in some cases to uh, let's say lengthen the life of the of the filter, and then can help you somehow uh, to reduce the maintenance of of the filter. Of course, with uh, an increased um, let's say performance of the filter. Uh, now we will talk about a little bit about the two big families of the filters, and we will discuss and we see. Uh, I, I will try to give you also um, some ideas in terms of the life of the filter and how and how often you should do the maintenance, okay? Now, uh, I think that just this little summary can be enough. I don't want to uh, talk too much about the filter itself, but I would like to go inside and show you visually how it is composed. We will now, I will go and uh, take and dismount a little bit the filter so that I can show you how it is, uh, it is done, how it is mounted, what is inside and all the steps that should be done in order to do a good maintenance of the filter. Now, you know, maybe you know myself, I'm not a technician, I'm a salesman, I'm a salesperson, so basically, if I can do it, I think that you can do it. It's really quite simple. This is our philosophy uh, when we think of a filter, when we think of a project, our, our research and development department thinks always also to, to what happens after and what happens in progress when you use the filter, obviously because this is essential, this is really, really important and fundamental in, uh, in what we do and in our, in our product. So I would like to, to go just to show you these two, these two model of filters. As I said, I would like to treat these two filters as two families, okay? So let's say that we have the small brothers and the bigger brothers. Uh, you know that our range goes from the CM300 to, to the CM2300. Now we are studying also a bigger version, a bigger model. Our, our colleagues, our engineers are studying it and we hope to uh, have the chance to release it as soon as possible. But basically we have the Small Brothers family, as I was telling you, which is composed by the CM300, 500 and 800, which is one of our last a last releases and the bigger brothers which are the cm 1000 up to the cm 2300 so also the 1400 and the 1800 um, let's say that the concept the 
the fundamental concept of the maintenance is the same. Uh, so all the principles that you should take into account, that you should, should consider during a maintenance process and during your um, scheduled maintenance, because of, of course you have to schedule a maintenance, it's more or less the same. What is different is that you will find some different approach in terms of, you, of, of how you find inside the pieces of the, of the clinic. Now, um, I will show directly, I will just um, demount the, the filter, okay? So uh, basically what you should be, what you should be doing is that, is that you have four screws here, okay? Yeah, you have four screws. I just already, you, you, using a wrench, it's really, it's really easy to unscrew them. Now I've already, I've already unscrewed just to, to speed up everything. So you remove the final filter. This is, uh, well, obviously this is the cartridge, this is the final filter, which uh, needs to be used in some specific applications. Uh, you know that well. I would like to spend a couple of a couple of words about the final the, about the final filter. Um, the final filter. Uh, we recommend to use the final filter when there are when there are applications, especially when there is a white smoke. Okay, so uh, white smoke means that the oil became uh, smoke basically. So it happens when you have mechanical works where there are where there is high temperature, high pressure. So you need to treat the, um, the smoke with the filter, with the final filter, because the effect of the, because the centrifugal effect and the um, and the filtering panels are not enough, are not sufficient to treat the smoke. But you need this kind of cartridge. Okay. So I wanted to just to spend a couple of a couple of words to to, to tell you this. Then after you remove this, uh, of course, we suggest you use always like. Uh, let's say a bag, of course, because you have uh, oil, you have a lot of waste. So we just suggest to have some bags, some, something to put this thing inside. Uh, one, one thing that I was forgetting, obviously, obviously, when you are doing a maintenance, you should, uh, let's say, protect yourself. So put gloves, uh, glass. Uh, now I'm not wearing those, but obviously when you are doing this, make, make sure, be prepared to, to, to use all these kind of protectional items. So we remove the, the final filter. Then we have the motor. Now the motor, again, to speed up the process and to, to speed up everything, we already, let's say, uncouple the motor, unscrew the motor, but usually uh, this motor is uh, connected to the drum, to the rotating drum, thanks to these things, okay? But you just remove it and you put it away. Now you see, you see here I have the motor, okay? And now I have to take this. And now what is different? Now I remark this because later you, uh, you will understand what is the difference between this family and this family. is where the internal silencer, silencer is placed and how you can have access to the internal silencer. Now to have access to these internal silencers, silencer, I have to remove also the lower part of the body. So uh, in this part, I have one, two, three clips. Okay, no, sorry, two clips. <laughs> There's not the first one. Uh, two clips, and I have to open the clips. Okay, take it off, remove, and here you have the internal silencer. Okay, here you have the internal silencer. Silencer, you can have access to the silencer only after you have unclipped the lower part of the body okay so i remove this this is an important part as well because the internal silencer yes of course you have the internal silencer to reduce the noise and so on but basically you can also understand if it's time to do a maintenance or not also when this internal silencer silencer is uh, let's say let's say full of oil or something like this but also this can give you an idea and can give you a sign that also the filtering panels that are inside have to be changed or are dirty or at least there is some oil inside. Uh, so we remove this part, I put it on the ground and then we have here the drum and here is the, let's say the heart of the, of the filter, okay? We have four panels, it's really easy, you just remove it, okay? You remove them, 
you throw them and you change them okay um, basically uh, let's say that you have the chance also to clean and to wash these panels but uh, honestly uh, the cost of the panels is not so it's not so it's not so great it's not so high so it's it's up to you it's a choice that it's up obviously to 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 do to the guy who is doing the maintenance, but basically you, you can change it. And I think it's, it's, the, it's the easiest way to do it. Once you've changed it, okay, you take the new ones. Important thing, the new ones are all uh, the exact same weight. The old the panels are exactly the same because it's extremely important in terms of the balancing of the drum, of course. Uh, so once you have removed the panels, you just take a cloth, okay, some degreaser, and you clean everything inside because, of course, you will find uh, grease and all this oil that it might be liquid and so on. So make sure that you clean everything, okay, and then you can change and you can put back all the, the new filtering panels. One other thing which I think is quite important is the, this part where you have I hope you see it. You have the gasket here, here, okay. This part obviously needs to be changed because obviously you have the assurance of a, um, let's say you have the seal of the filter, okay. So this part you just remove simply this one. Once you have removed the gasket, you again clean the seat of the gasket and you put back the gasket, the new gasket. Also, you should also you should also wash, let's say, clean also this part because it's important. Of course, uh, you can have um, also solid parts here or something that can go anyway inside the filter. So make sure that you also clean this part of the filter. Um, basically, as you've seen, I didn't take the the time, but it's quite quite easy and it's quite also also fast. To do to do these kind of things. Uh, now, uh, if everything is okay, I will go to the bigger brother family. So I will show you that the concept is basically basically the same. Okay. So you have the filter, you have the panels, the cart, the, the gasket, and so on. The thing that is different is okay. Again, I will remove this is a little bit heavier. Sorry. I remove this part, and now you see, now I remove also this, you see where the internal silencer is, okay? So here, I don't have to remove the lower part of the body, but to remove the internal silencer, I just need to remove the upper part of the body. Now, uh, one thing that I was almost forgetting, I'm, now I'm doing this uh, on the table, and obviously you can do it also uh, on, the, on the support, now I will do this way. I mean, I will remove these parts, but obviously when you are working, for instance, on that support, you will remove the lower part, okay? Because of course, that part that I just removed will remain on the support and you will take this part off. But it's the same, the concept is obviously the same. Here, again, we heavy the drum, same as before. You clean it, you do all the things that are necessary in the case, again. So, you see, it's the same gasket. You remove the gasket and you clean the gasket. And you clean, you clean, you clean the gasket, uh, the gasket seat, sorry. And you clean also this part, the base of the seat, okay. So, visually, and let's say the steps, the physical steps are this. And now, what I wanted to give you an idea about, uh, of course, uh, um, let's say the main question, the main problem is when to do the maintenance. Now, the point is that in this, in this, in this area, in this, in this, in this point, we say that, let's say that we um, talk about three main categories, three main families of application. Uh, because you have to <clears throat> you have to take into account that the application can be uh, well. I will give you the three main categories: a light duty application, 
a medium duty application and a heavy duty application. Of course, of course, depending of this kind of application and on the, uh, on the harshness of the application, you will have a different time of maintenance. So, uh, for instance, if we talk about of a light duty, light duty application, so you have emulsion, so you don't have straight oil, obviously you don't have white smokes, it is likely, the, uh, and if, you, if, it's work, if, if the machine work, it works eight hours per day, let's say that we can, have, we can give you roughly an idea of doing the maintenance uh, after one year of the filter. When we talk about the medium, the medium duty application, sorry, we might be talking about a straight oil, where you have straight oil, but maybe you don't have white smoke. So, of course, it's heavier than the light application, but it's not as heavy as it could be. So in this case, in this case, you can think of roughly an idea of, 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 of a maintenance to do in a region of six months, more or less. Okay. And then there is the heavier duty application, the heavy duty application when you have, a, when you have of course, straight oil, but when you have also white smoke. So the smoke that I was talking to you earlier, that obviously, uh, get the application to be heavier. So in this case, in this case, we think of a maintenance of a, re from, of a region of three to six months. Um, so this is basic, basically the, the, the idea. Of course, uh, as I was telling you, there are some, uh, some accessories that can help you to do the correct application to, and to install the filter correctly. Uh, for instance, for instance, we have a mini cyclone, a mini, a mini cyclone, which can be helpful when you have solid parts. Okay, so in case there are small solid parts, of course, you can use this, um, this accessory to do a correct installation of the filter and also, also to uh, make the life of the filter longer and to uh, do a maintenance of a, on a higher uh, uh, time span. Um, so this is, if you have solid particles. And then, of course, we have, we have also a pre-drainage. A pre-drainage is meant to, uh, when you have a big quantity of oil, oil mist, then it's to be recondensated into, into this, this accessory. And obviously, this can give you, the, again, this can do the same purpose, this can help you to reach the same goal as these as other, uh, other accessories, of course. Um, Okay, uh, I think that more or less, uh, I hope <laughs> that I, I gave you uh, an idea of how it should be done and on how often it should be done. And now um, I think that I can give you the, the space to, to, to do some questions if, if you want. As I told you, uh, write, down, write down on the chat on the chat what you would like to, to ask and we will try and give you the, the solution and the answer. Okay, so um, while we're waiting for some questions to, to come, uh, maybe we can make a summary of the most, uh, of the, of the most frequently asked questions. Like uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, what should you do if uh, uh, the filter performance drops or if you're experiencing some uh, noise or vibrations, which, I mean, uh, they are strictly connected? Uh, oh, okay, of course, of course, that let's say uh, when you notice, when you notice that the filter is vibrating, so you have noise and vibration, uh, it is likely that the problem is in the, in the drum, let's say that the problem is that you have panels inside. Uh, now the point is that you hear vibration, you feel vibration because the drum is unbalanced. Now um, the most usual, the, the, the what happens more, more, often, more often is that you have panels inside, of course, but the oil doesn't go to the panel in a, uh, let's say, in, it goes randomly, okay? So you can have some panels where you have more oil, some parts where you have less oil, so obviously the drum can be unbalanced. And this is, could be the reason, this is the most, the most frequent reason where you have an unbalanced drum. Uh, of course, of course, uh, it can happen that the drum itself uh, can be unbalanced also when you change 
the when after you have changed the um, the panels. In that case, in that case, you should call us. Okay, uh, you call me and you and we will rebalance the drum in our in our factory in our um, in our headquarters. Okay, so basically, basically, this is the main reason when you feel vibration and you when you feel when you hear some noise, some vibration. Um, so another questions we often receive is uh, how can we check uh, when it's time to do maintenance? So how can we check the status of the filter? How can we check the lifetime of the filtering elements? So we well, have that, yes, of course, of course you can do always a visual check. Okay, so you can feel you can understand that the that your the, the airflow is not enough. Of course, you can see visually. Uh, from the from the machine tool, what is happening? Um, so it means, of course, that the that the panel is uh, with a lot of oil inside. So of course, uh, there is less airflow, there is less hydraulic head. Uh, one thing that obviously also can happen with the cartridge, with the final filter. Um, for the final filter, we can have the accessory, of course, of the of the differential pressure, where you can see that the pressure is changing. So if the pressure is going up, it means that the filter is getting clogged. So it, it, you will have a decreasing of the, of the performance of the filter. It means that you, will have, that you should change and you should do some maintenance. Um, now we are trying, we are working also on a project to do uh, a visual, um, to give you a visual level, a, a visual idea of the status of the of the filter, and we are working on it also on the clean mist, and I and, and it will be ready. I think in this year it will be ready. So basically, this is this is this is the idea about it. Okay. Uh, so you already mentioned um, maintenance times. Maybe it is worth to um, recap them. So uh, what yeah. is the maintenance yeah. time for the panels, and uh, how often do uh, we need to uh, change the final cartridge? Okay. So let's say uh, let's start from the final cartridges. The, the final cartridge uh, can be used, as I said, when there is uh, when there is smoke, but obviously it can be used. Also, when there is no uh, white smoke and when there is, well, let's say when it's not extremely, when it's not uh, so necessary, okay? So it, is, it can be used as a security step. In that case, in that case, of course, the, um, the final cartridges need less maintenance compared to the, uh, the filtering panel that are inside uh, because it's, let's say, it's not working so, so hard. So uh, in that case, in that case, you should, before take care of the filtering panel and then to the to take care of the or the, or the final cartridges for the uh, for the heavy duty application so when the final cartridges is really uh, recommended and it's extremely necessary you will have to change uh, at the same time the final you should at least try and see if you have to change the final cartridges and the filtering panel at the same time which is as i said in the region of 3 to 6 months for the heavy duty application for the other two uh, big families of application, the light duty, as we said, is more or less one year. And for the medium duty application is more or less uh, six months, six months. Now, um, what obviously we can suggest, of, of course, is also to do, let's say, something like an historic on the application, an historic, an history of the, of the machine itself. Uh, of course, we added it each filtration, we have quite an experience on that on that field. So uh, it is important also as well to have all the uh, data about the application, all the detail, sorry, all the detail about the application, about the machine, because also knowing that kind of application, that kind of, ma of machine, we can already understand what, uh, what are we talking about, and we can suggest at least uh, roughly and give you an idea of the maintenance of the maintenance to be done but basically basically if you have to talk generally of course then case by case is uh, needs to be analyzed but if i have to sum up and if i have to tell you some general uh, indication let's say i don't want to say rules but indications um we can talk about these three families okay light medium and heavy so one year six months and three to six months okay more or less okay 
So we have a question um, and they're asking us, uh, is it necessary to change the plastic pipe? Uh, the plastic pipe, is it necessary to change? But Well, you mean this, this part? I guess yes. The okay. Well, let's say that this part is important that you uh, don't have um, oil that gets, let's say, uh, accumulated on on that part uh, because it's it's and and on that point is extremely important that you use um, a pipe which is um, not rough inside. Uh, sorry, I don't remember the English the English word, but it's a, a spiral one with uh, not rough inside. So that you not, don't have the oil accumula accumulated on the on that pipe. This is extremely important. Uh, basically, you just to make sure that you don't have these kind of these kind of things on the on this pipe because obviously uh, it's something uh, really important because you can have a lower of the a lower performance of the filter, but you can have also uh, also bad smells when you have all all the all the oil that gets that gets stuck gets stuck. In the in the flexible pipe, so yes, you should take care also of this kind of this kind of thing, of course. So um, there are no other questions. So okay. I guess you've been very clear. So. Okay. Okay. So if there are no other questions, uh, okay. Sorry. If if some question occurs to you later, you can of course. Uh, of course, tell us, and we will. We are organizing another webinar in two days. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Gianni. Uh, we have yeah. uh, um, one more question. Um, which engine are we using on our team? Which engine? Oh, sorry, I moved. <laughs> The, the, the question is what engines are we using? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, obviously it depends on the model uh, of, of the engine. Uh, you have different, you have different, you have, you have different uh, sizes of the, of, the, of, the, of the motors, of course. Uh, you have for the small ones, uh, if I remember well, it's 0 0.37, if okay, okay. But yes, and uh, for the, for the bigger ones, we have three sizes. It's uh, 0 0.55, 1.5, and 2.2. .2. But um, this is, uh, I mean, in terms of maintenance, what I forgot to, to tell you is that also you have to take care of the motor, of the engine, okay? Because you have to change also this part of the motor, okay? Uh, what motor are you using? Yes, um, it, dep it depends on the, on the, on the clean mist. Now I don't remember if I if I if I told you correctly the the powers of the of the filter of the of the engine. But uh, what should be interesting you in terms of maintenance and from the maintenance point of view is that you should be replacing uh, these parts these parts of the of the of the motor that they that they are, that they are used for the vibration anti -vibra anti vibration of the engine. So um, Paolo from uh, HF Polska um, is also telling us that uh, uh, we can say that our electrical motor are defluxed in order to avoid uh, increasing the temperature, um, which is especially needed with uh, uh, the APA filter cartridge. So this is uh, something important to, to say in addition okay. to what you have but, already told us. Very good, very good, okay. Okay, so no more other questions. Martina, tell me. Um, yes, uh, we can also say regarding the electrical motor, and this suggestion comes uh, from, from Paolo, yes. uh, that uh, um, we can provide the, the engine with the uh, IP on request. So okay, we are of able course. to satisfy whatever request you might. Of course, of course. Of course. Um, which classes are the engines? Okay, uh, the class of the engine should be class E I E three. Yeah. I yes, it's I yes exactly. Paolo, thank you for giving me for giving me hand. He's more expert than me in engines, of course. <laughs> okay. 
okay? And we can also have IE for on request. Of course, of course. Okay. Okay. And also, of course, we can uh, we can vary uh, voltage and frequency according to your needs. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, any more questions? No? Okay, Jani, I guess okay. we are. Yeah, okay, done. as I said, I will, I will invite you again, once again, to our next webinar, which will be on Thursday. Uh, we will talk about the maintenance for the other business unit of our, of our range of products. So I will invite you on Thursday, 11.30 as, as today, and once again, Thank you very much for participating and we hope to have given you uh, good information and we have, it's always good, it's a good time to spend together. And obviously we wait for your feedback and be gentle on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and okay, thank you very much again. Thank you guys, have a nice day, bye.